What's happening, beautiful gamers? Blank here, and welcome back to another episode of Hunter X, codename T. And we're right here in the Citadel because there's no way for me to explore the other areas of the tower. Like, I tried going over here, and there's just infinite water. We try going over here, and there is nothing to do in there. Try going over here, there is nothing that we can do in there. So the only thing that we can truly do is, well, progress through this area and see... Well, see how difficult enemies are going to be. Not only that, but also in this place of water, the shrine of water or whatever. Enemies were pretty tough. Like, they were taking a couple of hits before we were even able to start making a dent on them. More like 5 combos, 6 combos, 7 combos, something like that. Oh, wait. Ugh. Okay, die. Thank you. Kind of like this guy that takes like forever to be killed. Yeah, that that's kind of like what I'm talking about. Now, we're going to be proceeding through this area because I do not know if there's any other way. There is another seeker over there. Okay. Just wanted to verify. Wanted to make sure that we didn't miss anything important in there. You guys know that you have this whole area. And there is always something that annoys me about these maps. And it's like the fact that uh, you cannot really like trigger the whole map unless you kind of like start jumping around. And that's annoying. But that's something pretty classic out of... Out of the games that are like this, when I say out of the games that are like this, we're talking about, you know, um, Blasphemous, we're talking about uh, Bloodstain. No, I think Bloodstain doesn't include it, but Blasphemous, The Last Faith, and every single game that has been with this kind of like type of map, those kind of like, that's a way that you have to deal with it. Uh, we're going to be going through the right, because I really want to explore that section. I didn't explore it before. So I think that we owe it to the game. Enemies do have a lot of health. And I do like it that you guys are even trying to avoid it. Cute, exquisite, silver ring. What is that? Increases defense by a boatload. And the sapphire ring is just ice resistance. So I might even include that one. Because it seems like my, my rings are not really working. Like this one, this, this item right here, the crest of strength increases weapon discovery. Seems pretty bad. So I might even remove that, but honestly speaking, you guys know it. I'm liking the new weapons that we get, changing them, going for something else. So having the, the chance of being able to do that makes me happy. Do you guys think that to trigger that door, I have to kill all the enemies? I think so. Yeah, this all good. There, yep, yep, yep. Just like that. Kill all the enemies, triggers the door. Hello. Yo, Tayo. What's up, buddy? It's a magic door. It looks like we have to do something to open it. There might be a clue somewhere. Let's look around. There might be a clue somewhere. I don't really see anything in here. So, okay. So, if we want to open that door, there must be something that we do, like... This place looks too simple. Maybe you just crouch in here. Maybe you have to take damage. Ah, the game got me in there. The game did get me there. Okay, that's fine. Can you do this? No, you cannot. You cannot do the heat up whenever you are there. That's perfectly okay. That's a nice dodge on his end. Good job, buddy. Good job. You really thought that I was gonna... Oh, wait. Oh, right. We cannot do the combo up because we don't have the mega power. That's a problem. Yeah, your body kind of like got the pay the price for existing. Do you guys see that I can? No, I cannot. So once you are in the sky, you cannot really do the, the, the mega hit. Like the, the stand up and then there's the mortal ball blow. Because if you try to do it, it will not work. So that's a little bit unfortunate. That's still okay. Some enemies went down. Perfection. Oh no, these guys again? Oh, these enemies one more time. They don't really... Yeah, they block your dodge. Which is a little bit annoying. But I guess that's perfectly fine. Heal, heal. Let's go. Oh, we get a power crack. Crest of Light. What do you do? Crest of Light. Crest of... Ah, uh, it's nothing. But Holy Axe, do you do good damage? It seems like it does, so let's equip it. And what is Crest of Light? Oh, Crest of Light probably just increases item discovery. Accessory discovery. It's not bad. It's really good. Okay, I gotta jump two times to be able to get here. Oh no, don't get damaged. 
uh, those schools again. And if we take a look at the map, yeah, if you fall, you'll be in trouble. So we can at least destroy them. Oh, that was so close. Ah. The game thought it was going to be cheeky on me. The game really thought it was going to be cheeky on me. Not happening. Not on my watch. Give me the chest. We get a Citadel Wreck. Okay, a particular passage attracts attention. Shed everything and face the enemy with only your bare body. Steadfastness shall be rewarded with the Violet Shroud. This sounds really bad, like a bad idea. But hey, we can, we can do some punches, so let's try this. Right now we don't have any skills, where you see, we're doing our punches. Oh shit, that's a shackle. Oh my god. Kill it! Let's go, that's one. Beautiful. One more. That's perfectly okay. Wait, are you even gonna go down? Let's go. Did we trigger it? Perfect. Let's go. So that's exactly how you false solve that puzzle. That was a little bit trickier than I anticipated. Is this one a little bit stronger? Because I think this one is a little bit stronger and... No, it's not stronger. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter then. Over here, we're going to be going back to the Holy Axe, even though we never use it. But that's fine. And then just equip something like the Queen's Axe, because why not? Here, we need the one that increases my attack, which is the Obsidian Ring. And then, honestly speaking, I'm kind of... Mm, I want the... Uh, I do not know. It's confusing. I'll just equip the Crest of Strength, because it makes sense. Give me the healing, and then we should be okay. And look at that, two nice chests. One gives me some potions and the other one... Hoffs of another world. Huh. Is that, a, is that a power? Is that an item? Increases attack according to the percentage of map explored. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it 100%. That's super good. Goodbye, increases strength, whatever. And now I'll see you guys at the top. And here we are back, right at the top of it. You guys saw it. You guys know it. That was a really nice puzzle to get. I should have gotten this before that. But hey, you guys know it. It's alright. We kind of like that. We're used to it already. So let's go to an inventory and start using some of this stuff. We just want to use one of them. Give me a nice save. That was a little bit unnecessary. We're going to keep increasing our damage right now until like 40. And then we'll see the rest. We are level 50. That's actually impressive. I thought we were going to be less level. But is there something now new? Boss fight or something like that? Something is written in here. Prophecy of Celestia. In the Age of Devils. A hero born of strength, courage, and wisdom. A uh, Link? Is that you? Will save the world from chaos. From, Ga from Ganon, you mean. The celestial ruins will show the way. And then we have three celestial runes in there. We have like three different colors, like a... I don't know, but I don't understand them. <laughs> they look like runes from a game called Summoner's Wars. Who the... Amelia, where are you? Who are you? She looks like the priestess, by the way. And I've been found. Yes. Celestial Princess Isabella. Nope. Go hit somebody else, not me. Oh, that's so much damage. I was like, crit. No. Stay away from me. Stay away from me two times. Wow, she does good damage. Did she, she got me. But now that I received damage, the music kind of like stopped. No. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you really think that you're too good, uh, don't you? Oh, no. She does the same as the previous one. Do you guys remember the other hunter? She kind of, like, fills herself with, like, holy magic, and that's pretty bad. Wow, she moves so much. Cannot even, cannot even keep up with it. Wow, I cannot keep up with that move. Oh, disgusting. She didn't do anything else. Nice dodge. Holy moly. 
Okay, stop it, stop it, stop, stop, stop. Listen, you gotta, you gotta, oh my. Where is your body, lady? Lady, I have no idea where your body is. Look at that. Haven't been able to hit here. Okay, you know what? I'll hit you in the air. Let's go. Yeah, I'm already tired of you. I really cannot see where your body is, and that's exhausting. Holy shit, she still hit me. I cannot believe that this thing is gonna hit, kill me. Not happening. Shoo! Oh, wow. Ha! You ate that? Ah, <laughs> you thought you were gonna get me with that scratchy? Hunter's Lance. Does it hurt? Are you sure? It hurt me more than it hurt you, that's for sure. It's you, the hunter from another world. I mistook you from an enemy, please forgive me. I am Princess Isa. Oh, haha, <laughs> increasing our harem now? Yep, Alliance of Hunters, now we have more. Yep. What with you? Yeah. Listen to her. Oh, jeez, she's looking for Amelia. Haven't we found Amelia yet? She's the only family left to me. I have no doubts that I can look after it. She can look after herself, but it doesn't matter. She makes me worry. Okay, and what else does she... Oh, she actually... Oh, oh, okay. We don't we don't really care about any of this. So I'm just gonna let it... So you guys can actually... Um, the sorcery book, you have a laboratory there that, and you think that you can help. So she's the one that teaches me about magic, per se. So I can improve my magics with her. It's kind of cool. Could Amelia be up there? Maybe. Well, all we know is that anything that we need... Wait, what? No, that's not the case. Anything that we need should be where? Like, we should be able to go in here and test it out. And we know that there's a furnace in here. We haven't been able to use... Um, we have a new weapon that I hope is more powerful than what I have. Plus seven. I mean, it's slower than my hammer. But I mean, we have to, we have to, right? We just have to. A new sorcery scroll and a shaman crest. Wait, shaman crest? Is that a new magic? We didn't learn any sorceries from her. Shaman crest. Yes, occult discovery. You know what? Doesn't matter. Then now that we go out, this is it. it everything disappears. But one of the weird things about everything is these runes over here, there's nothing that we can do over here. My guess would be that now we might be able to access some of the secret doors. Otherwise, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest, I might be a little bit lost. Well, I know, I know where I have to go. I think. But we'll figure that out. Let's take a let's make a save and let's go back to the main city to see what's up. Over here, but the waifu, do you say something? How can I help you? You don't really ask about the priestess. Affiliated with the short. Assisting hunters is your calling. Yeah, but I just fought another one. So... You want items from me, but that doesn't really help because... The items that you sell, I do not really need them. Except for the return stone, that could be really nice. And then we're talking about more things. Let's go to... Wait, now that I have the double jump, do you guys think that I can... Is there is there like something on the other side? Yes, there is. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Did I just try to make that? Wait, was this always in here? Oh, God. Oh, there she is. Oh, so we haven't rescued the one that goes in there just yet. Yeah. yeah. Um, ask about the Celestial Runes. So now, yeah, I mean, they are associated with the hero, but what do you want me to do with them? Three runes symbolize strength, courage, and wisdom. Each rune had hunters guarding them. When Celestials fell, those hunters took the runes into this, into other worlds. It was the only way to keep the runes from the devils. Uh, it was pretty certain that my sister is looking for them. So she was always talking about it at least. Okay, and then... Oh, enhance the occult. So now I can enhance different magics. It requires karma, but it increases the power by a little bit. We don't really care about this one just yet. It does require items if you guys take a look at it, like the novice scroll books. But the one that we're looking for is the... How do you call this? The the blacksmith, which we have not been able to unlock. I believe. Let's check it out. This should be the blacksmith, yes? Yeah, you see, we don't have a blacksmith. So after all of that, like, check around and everything. And this one, I don't remember. There is only one place that we can actually visit, because we cannot transfer this area. And uh, we have multiple of these that we haven't found how to get them, which is a little bit unfortunate. 
So if I have to guess, the only place that there is left to do... I mean, believe it or not what I'm gonna say, but we're gonna have to go all the way to the beginning of the game. And that, that's probably the answer. City center. There's a chest in there, and then there's a section up above, and then there's a section... Just up above? Yes. Alright. From the city center... I should go through the top. First item over here. Explorer gloves. That one probably increases my discovery, just like the other ones. Yes, by 1,000. Sounds good. Uh, is it good? Probably. But I'm not sure if I gotta be honest. Like whenever you deal with items like that, it's something strange. Let me get the little safe. And now we gotta go through the top. Can I try to like find out the new section? That's nice, one of them is dead. And then from here, there was another section right here, right? Like, we could have gone through the top, but instead of going through the top, there was something else. Oh, not over here. Over there. Okay, beautiful. I think we can do this. No, go down. You guys... Oh my god, my dash actually kills them. I think. No, because my dash does 200 damage. I think they had, like, 400. And... Uh, wait, are we gonna still fight this little... Enemy? Oh, no, whoa, what the freak are you? That's a lot of damage. That was two crits in a row. Try to figure out where to go. This is so slow in comparison to the other hammer. I'm about to change it just because of the other hammer. What is that? You've discovered the blacksmith traces. Yes! A crack in the world. Did someone use space them stones? Was it a celestial? Are there still celestials alive? And I didn't know about. When you're curious, there's nothing that you can do but to go and see. My, I, maybe I might end up with some unexpected materials. Ahem. Haha. <laughs> is this thing chasing me a new kind of devil? It looks like it's wearing iron armor. And there's some other things as big as a mountain. Ah, gotta get out of here. So she was probably talking about that place that we were at a second ago. A wind cape. I mean, if it's gonna make me look like a superhero, I don't mind it. But it's probably not. It's a wind cape and it does... Increases stamina recovery. Once again, in this type of games... Ooh, hello. In, in this type of games, speed is king. Or not speed. Speed is good, but damage is good. And I don't really like the way that my arm looks with this weapon, I'm just saying. Might change it just because of that look. Goodbye. Four hits to kill them. They're pretty tanky. Even though this is a first area, but I mean, of course, you cannot get here unless you have the double jumps. I guess it's no longer a first area. Hello! It's an overgrown of this! Oh, God. Can I kill you from here? Yes, I can! And I thought that was a platform. I guess not. One of them is down. Those those flying enemies, they keep being, like, pushovers, so it's kind of good. Slash it! Oh! 3,000 damage in one hit. And it seems like this weapon does a lot of crits, which is fantastic. Can I double jump? Wait, is this... Is this gonna connect to this area over here? It feels like it. Strength fragment. I didn't know that you guys dropped that, but I'll take it. We're facing really easy enemies. And yeah, I think it's gonna connect. So I think it's gonna be easy peasy. And I think it connects because you can fall from the top. Three hits and goodbye. And if I gotta guess... Is there any other items here? Nope. Bye. Yep, that's it. Did we ever... Oh, you needed a double jump to get in here. Maybe we tried to get in there, but we didn't have the opportunity to because we didn't have the double jump. Perfectly fine. Let's go straight. So, this citadel ends up becoming the place where we rescue the blacksmith. And then after we rescue the blacksmith, what's happening next? We have to unlock those rooms. But we cannot. For some reason, we cannot. So that's that's a question that I have. How do we even do that? So if the blacksmith is not the answer, then that means that I might have to, like, you know, start, like, doing a lot of digging. Like, start walking around and trying to figure out where to go from there. These enemies are giving me the resources that I was receiving from other enemies in different sections. That means that the game pretty much wanted me to go either there or here. Bye. The circular enemies, come on, fly. 
Can I just smash you? Yes, I can. Go down multiple times. Uh, I'm not gonna chase you. You're a little bit annoying and you don't even give that many points. So I think it's fine just to keep walking straight. Do you guys think that the blacksmith is actually another Celestial that we're gonna have to kill? Like, not, not kill, but defeat. Because so far we haven't killed... Like, we see Celestials and we don't kill them. We defeat them. And then it's like, after you give them a really nice walk, it is like, oh... I didn't know that you were friends. And it's like, oh yeah, so you waited for me to clap your cheeks. Before you actually realize that I wasn't an enemy. That sounds like a great way not to do things. What is this? Oh, so now we're next to the save. That's kind of useful. That means that maybe the boss fight is right around the corner. Maybe. I'm just saying. I'm just thinking. Oh, yes, it is. And it's probably going to be another Celestial. Yes? Oh, Ogre. What exactly are you? What are you? I mean, I have fought like 20 of you. Stop chasing me, huh? Oh, that's the best one. Yeah, this one is not having it. Pontroid Mark II. Eh. Yeah, you're gonna try to do something. Nice hit. Yeah, your health is almost all the way down already. You sure you're gonna try to kill me? Are you sure you're even trying? Oh, wow. Yes, she is. Now. Yeah, you sure you're even trying one more time? Like, yeah, I feel like at some point she just stops trying. And it's my chance to, like, hit her really hard. Oh, wow. But I do gotta say, when she hits the mark, she hits it pretty hard. You know, games like this, the good thing about them is that they're kind of like a good introduction for Metroidvanias because bosses are like interesting, but they're not like impossible to beat. Like bosses that you defeat in these areas, it's like, it's not like, it's not like it's going to take you too long. Maybe it's going to be a little bit challenging, but you can kind of like get used to like some mechanics. Oh, the, the blacksmith is going to be big boy. Really? I'm not going to kill you. Aha. You took her out. I'm alive. Alliance of Hunters. I didn't know that there was going to be a hunter, but I'll take it. Thank you, Han. Uh, about weapons. So if you're a hunter, I might help. I'll get those weapons of yours as good as new. Come find me in the stronghold. Thank you. Your workshop is there. Greetings. It's a Celestial blacksmith. I stumbled upon those cracks. It's dangerous, but I found some pretty rare valuable materials. Uh -huh. Right. So now my guess would be that now that we have triggered the map, we can actually... That's my only guess. My guess is that now that we trigger the Celestial thingy, we can actually go back and we can actually uh, trigger those doors. That would be my guess. But at the same time, it's like, is it like that? Is it truly like that? I wouldn't be able to tell. But hey, we were able to clear out of this. Oh, no, don't send me down. We were able to clear out of this section, which is pretty cool. So anyways, let's teleport pretty fast to the stronghold and let's see how, what do you need to make my levels go up. Now that we're in here, what do you got to say, buddy? You've been waiting for me? Sure. So I can ask about different things, but I want enhanced weapons. And if you see the level, the increase is kind of like okay. So there's nothing crazy. It increases by like six. But then you can see the base damage of all of them. The spike maze is 189, whereas this one is 196. And this one goes up by six. This one goes up by six too. So everything goes up by six. The, the, the great sword is kind of like the same damage, but nothing too crazy. And yeah, everything else is kind of weak, except for the Crescent Moon. But anyways, I guess right here is where we're actually going to be wrapping things up for the day. I have to figure out where to go next. And once I figure that out, then, well, we'll start recording the next episode. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next one.